Mingala Bashin. I'm Kimberly Phillips and these are the top stories on DVB. A migrant labour advocacy group has contradicted reports it is suspending operations. The Myanmar Association in Thailand, an organisation that works with Burmese labour migrants, disputed earlier reports that they, along with the Aid Alliance Committee for Myanmar Workers, had halted their activities, the apparent result of a spat with the Burmese government. Speaking to DVB on Thursday, MAT representative Chaw Thong said their advocacy will continue and clarified that only a symbolic membership card with the Burmese embassy had been withdrawn, but the move would in no way affect their work. Enrollment rates in Kachin primary and middle schools are lagging, with the rest of northern states struggling to keep young people in education and those that are enrolled are more likely to be kept behind or enter schooling later than their peers around the country. Some students from Hill Tribes are not entering middle school until 20 years old, the age where most have graduated high school. <laughs> A village home to the traditional Burmese art of weaving has been inundated by floodwaters. Around 80 weaving homes in Amarapura, Mandalay are struggling to resume work after the surging Irrawaddy River forced locals to evacuate and damaged wooden weaving equipment. More than 700 weaving factory workers are currently sitting idle. ແມ່ນແມ່ຫວင်ລາໄລ່ດາບໍ່ເຕີ້ນແດ່ເຕີ້ນແດ່ທີ່ຫາກູເວມັນເຕີ້ນໃຫ້ພີ່ດໍບ